Hi guys and welcome back to Disney Week. Hello. D-I-S-N-E-Y-W-E-E-K. -E 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 <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to fit, I was like... <laughs> I've been practicing. <laughs> so today we have a baking video for you. So Martin is going to take the reins because he is the baker. Um, as you know from Meals of Martin. Well, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say I'm a baker. I am actually cheating slightly, but I'll tell you how in a second. <laughs> But we are making some Halloween inspired Disney cookies. We are, yes. So this is how I've cheated slightly. In the past I've done a video on how to make some uh, shortbread cookies that are dipped in chocolate. The Mickey ones you mm. find in the parks. And we struggled to find sort of Halloween recipes. Yeah. So I've actually just taken the recipe for the, the cookie and then we're going to give it a bit of a Halloween twist. Mm -hmm. And a different shape. Yeah. So hopefully that constitutes being different. <laughs> <laughs> Sure it does. I'm excited. Come I don't on. know if they're going to work. Yeah, they will. Right then, so over here we've got what we need. So the first thing we've got, so this is different, this is what's different uh, with this recipe, is it's, we've got Mickey's hand. So what we're actually going to try and create is a zombie Mickey hand. So like a green cookie um, with some chocolate on top to make it look as if like the zombie Mickey has been crawling through the mud. We have no idea what this is actually going to look like. <laughs> no, I have no idea. <laughs> I actually wanted, I was looking around in the shop for, you know, like on ice cream where you get the strawberry uh, drizzle. Yes. I was looking, for, I couldn't find it anywhere. Could you not? Oh, I was trying to it's probably that. Halloween, everyone's yeah. got it for blood. But we'll just have to make do. <laughs> uh, then I got some milka chocolate, so that's going to be used as uh, like the mud on the, on the hand. I think we should get a fair amount of cookies out of this because this, I think this is a bit smaller than the, the Mickey. Good, good. Sort of. And we've got, I've already looked, I've already measured everything Aww. up. So we've got 300 grams of granulated sugar. And then I couldn't fit the flour into one container. <laughs> so we've got 600 grams of all purpose flour. Uh, then we've got some green food colouring. So that's going to give us the green cookie. And then I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, the butter. Oh, yes. So the butter is in the fridge. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to soften. So we're going to put it into the microwave for a little bit. And I think it's 454 grams, uh, so I'll measure that now. I forgot to mention as well, this is unsalted butter. So, we've softened the butter. Dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of that voice from uh, X Factor. So we're gonna put that into the mixing bowl. <laughs> Doing a variety of accents, I don't know why. Just put that in there. I've cleaned this entire area, but it's just going to get dirty. I don't know why I did that. So let's get granulated sugar. That is so much sugar. It is, yeah. <laughs> Helena, Helena said to me, I've just been on a run, because I thought I'd better do this run if I'm going to make these cookies. So I've done the run, now I'm making some really unhealthy food. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's alright, it's Halloween, it's so, holidays. We're going to cream this all together. So we're going to put this in here, and I'm going to start. Pretty I wonder how many start. cookies this is actually going to make. I feel like it's going to make a lot. Start mixing it. Just say when you want to dive in. What? Should I mix it? This is going to be, it says to do it for about five minutes. Okay, you make. can do it for a few minutes then. We'll speed this up so it's not uh, <laughs> five minutes of stirring. <laughs> and go. <laughs> oh, also, uh, we need to preheat the oven. Oh, yes. So you could do that. If you're on a gas oven, it's gas mark five. And if it's on a fan oven, it's 170. 70? That's a bit. And then always have your mugs ready for a cup of tea because it's thirsty work. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> Stir it up. Do you have to get it smooth? Little darling, stir it up. <laughs> We're just stirring any particular way. Yeah, it just says to keep going until it's fluffy. This is your audition for Bake Off. <laughs> I'd be the worst on Baker. <laughs> Would you? I was just reading tweets from past contestants. See, I'm talking now, I'm not sorry. Um, <laughs> from like years, years, and years back, and they were sharing what their signature, not signature, their showstopper bakes were. Yeah. And like how much they've changed. They weren't as elaborate. Like, I think one guy was like, for like week, the last week. I made cupcakes <laughs> and now they're making like works of art. Like, Things inside uh, cases, wasn't it? Like, like last it's time not we watched. amateur baking anymore. <laughs> like that's professional baking standards. 
<laughs> well, this is professional beer from Standard. <laughs> is it looking fluffy? It's looking fluffy. We're going to add the flour in next. And life. We're life. <laughs> <laughs> in the kitchen. Eee. There in we goes go. the flour. And that goes in there. And then... It must get the, harder to stir. It's the hard bit, yeah. So this now just needs to be all mixed together. Mixed well. And it can get to the point where you just have to get your hands in. Oh no! Oh no! And also it also spills over the side. <laughs> it's going to spill inside our, <laughs> our mugs when we have tea. Shall I move them? <laughs> Shall I put the kettle on actually? Yeah! Yeah! We need some, um, you've got one haven't you? Your Comet Relief. Yeah, no it was a uh, stand up to cancer. It was for the, yeah, it was from the beer cough I got it, yeah. Why aren't you wearing it? Your apron. Should I go get it? Yeah, okay. Where is it? Star Baker. I'm going to wear this one. It looks like Tony. <laughs> it does. Tony restaurant. <laughs> we made an error. <laughs> the main Halloween ingredient we forgot was the food colouring. Put the food colouring in. So we're just going to have to hope that I can mix it now. With, I'll just like drizzle it. Although it says. But to, like, you're going to have to mix it in, aren't you? Yeah, it says to like. Put in as much as, oh, that's very green. Let's see what happens. But you need to mix it in the whole thing somehow. I know, I'm trying. It might be golden brown with like very <laughs> strong food colouring parts. <laughs> oh no, this is a disaster. <laughs> well, we'll have to keep going. We start, can't start again because that'll be a waste. Well, I haven't got any we more. We never claim to be professional bakers. I haven't got any more ingredients. Do you know how much food colouring you're just guessing? <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like the kind of person who knows how much you put in it? <laughs> oh, that was. It's because it's all it's like stuck together now. That was stupid of me, wasn't it? When should it have gone in? It should have gone in really with the sugar with and the, the butter. Well, with the flour. And then mixed it all and together. Then mixed it all together. Somebody shouting at me as they watch this. <laughs> so what are you doing, <laughs> Paul Hollywood? <laughs> He's a regular viewer of so Helena and Martin. <laughs> Okay. Then what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this has turned into how not to apply food colouring. If this turns out well, I will be impressed. <laughs> but, there yeah. you go, put it in the bowl and mush it. Something tells me this doesn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> we put some flour onto the worktop <laughs> and we're now going to roll this out. My worry is that it's all going to stick to the rolling pin and that the food colouring is also going to come off on the roller pin. Kind of looks a zombie colour. <laughs> just trying to humour me now. Here it is. Right. Yay. Oh no. Oh, no. Now the hard bit, getting it. Getting it out. Because they're a bit floppy. That looks green. Oh no, I've lost his finger! Oh no! There he is. We just changed baking tray to a flat one. So some of these are going to be more green than others. <laughs> That's a fail on my part. But you know, we make the mistakes so then you don't you do them. You could actually make them right. <laughs> I got the cookie cutter set, by the way, from Amazon. So I'll put the link in the description below. And with that you get like a uh, Mickey's head outline and then also a candy sweet outline. So I'm looking now to see what uh, scoring we can put onto the hands. To make them look a bit more zombie <laughs> and not just not that cabbage they look, hands. They, don't look, they, they look a bit weird at the moment. They look quite scary but probably not Does scary they... as in the way that we wanted them. As in they don't look edible. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we've got them all ready. We actually have so much um, oh, dough that we've already got two trays ready to put in. And then um, we've still now. got all of this dough. So yeah. we couldn't find it, so we're trying to improvise. <laughs> Which doesn't go well with us. Maybe if I put some like fingernails. Yeah, but aren't we gonna put chocolate on yeah but then we'll know where to put the chocolate okay. oh yeah that looks good that's so, not a hard shape. Helena's annoyed because 
I, I said, right, let's uh, see who's got the better art skills. So this is what I've done. So we, we've made some nails and then like <laughs> lines to link to the nails to make it look a bit more like a hand, but the the shapes are a bit strange. Uh, this like one. That. <laughs> and the, it's these two. I was like, they are not a hand. Well, he's a zombie, isn't he? He's a zombie. Yeah, something's happened, right? He's a good thing. So now we're going out of how splodged green they are. <laughs> There's like one that's actually green. green. So now we're going to put these in the oven for, Plan it on. says about 18 minutes, but we have to keep checking on them. Okay. So the cookies are baking nicely, we hope. Well, they're expanding, <laughs> so they might all join hands. Aww. Like the scene oh, they smell in, good. Like the scene in Toy Story. <laughs> anyway. Now we're gonna melt the chocolate. <gasps> Gimme! No! <laughs> well, like, you can have a little bit. Oh no, I don't want to yeah, take it away. Yeah, there you go, there's Am a square I? for you. Yay! For your efforts. Mm. I'll take one square. <laughs> and then we're gonna melt this. And oh, see no. all the other cookies that we've made. Oh yeah. So with our extra dough, we've just made some regular Mickeys. <laughs> we give up with a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Which are a lot easier. <laughs> so we're gonna. Oh, there's a stray hand. Yes, there was one hand. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, just bake these and have these as little green zombie Mickey's. Or Hulk Mickey's. Hulk if you're Mickey's. Fans of the Avengers. <laughs> about this tea. I keep forgetting about this tea. <laughs> Does anyone do this? That beeping means one thing. <laughs> we're gonna check them. They've only been in for 15 minutes, not 18. But we thought we would check them. Oh, they smell nice. Oh, they're, they're fat. <laughs> <laughs> they look like paws. I was about to say, do you know what? They look more like um, Goofy's feet. They look like dinosaur feet. Oh, or Hulk, the Hulk's foot. <laughs> they're like tiny bit green. Oh, they're not done. Oh, they're not done. They're certainly not Oh, done. they're not gonna go any, they're gonna get less green now. Oh no. Oh, no. It's a disaster. Oh, yours look better. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh no, they're not how we pictured them. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video <laughs> as a comedy video. Um, <laughs> more than a bake with us. Um, I would maybe bake something else. I'm quit, I'm out of here. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't think they're the best Halloween Disney bakes um, you've ever seen. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed the video <laughs> as some light entertainment <laughs> So I had them in for another five minutes and now I've got them out to cool down This one now just has like one tiny streak of green <laughs> Oh, Adding chocolate will make everything better You know what they remind, not green. You know what they remind me of? The no. scene where Simba puts his paw into, <laughs> <laughs> into his dad's <laughs> Why aren't they green? Are they not ready yet? No, they will be, because they're going to set, I, okay. I remembered, so they'll set, and then we add the chocolate, then we put them in the fridge, and they'll, they'll be hard. They don't look like Mickey Zombie hands at all, <laughs> like, in any way. Did we say Mickey Zombie? No, we, sorry, we meant, um, we meant Simba's paw. Yeah. With a bit of mould on. <laughs> no, they big grass. Pretty grass. Why aren't they green? We put green food colour in it. It's not the time to ask questions. <laughs> so it's time to apply the chocolate. I'm sure chocolate will fix this disaster. Guys, we're persisting, but they look even worse. <laughs> <laughs> they look even more like Simba's paw. Simba. I actually think these would look better if they were bright green. Yeah, I think so as well. And then you put them on, but they, they really don't look like hands. I think it all comes down to the error that, that I made <laughs> regarding the food. But I don't think even if you added it at the right time, they would have gone that green. Yeah, I must admit, they just go brown. I've not really used food colouring before, can you tell? <laughs> so um, if you do have any advice on how to use food colouring, please put in the comments below. It's probably already commented. Yeah, <laughs> or switched off the video. Yay. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. These, these are good. They're going to taste nice. They're going to taste good. I mean, it's just chocolate and cookie. But they definitely don't look with it, with like a Mickey. Oh, they just don't look like a Mickey zombie hand in any way. <laughs> Why are you rubbing it in? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're my fault as well. We actually wanted this up to go up for Halloween. But... I don't think anybody's going to be making these. <laughs> no, I, don't. 
I think this is just more of a funny vlog. Unless you're a Lion King fan. <laughs> Proud of your creation. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, they smell really good. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> so they've been in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> and this, look a bit green, like this is what they look like. This one's got a green tint to it. Should I try it? So this is this Oops, is the Simba stuck. the Simba oh, yeah. paw. Do you get a ghostly feeling when you eat them? I mean they taste nice. They're quite cold. Are you brave enough? Are you strong enough to bake the cookies? <laughs> they uh, they taste good. It tastes like cookies and chocolate. Well, that's a success. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> they look like Simba balls. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> they taste good. <laughs> They'd be good with a cup of tea. Mm, they would. But, um, yeah. I mean, taste good. Design. <laughs> I think. We a haven't solid even, 2 out of 10. We haven't even got on the scoreboard. Of the design. <laughs> but, yeah. If, if you want Lion King inspired cookies, then <laughs> With a bit of a green leafy look. <laughs> then follow this recipe. Uh, so thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found it interesting and a, an enjoyable vlog to watch anyway. Even I though it did it. not turn out how we pictured. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow in another Disney Week video. Happy Bye. Halloween! <laughs>